Hello guys and welcome back today. I've got another build order for you which is for Odin. So another Norse build order for Age of Mythology Retold. This time we're looking at the uh, updated version of the Fast Heroic into Wandering Woods um, strategy which is uh, quite strong to say the least. So um, this, the reason why I say this is updated is because this is post uh, nerf so in the uh, previous uh, patch one of the latest patches the time it takes to get to heroic age was extended by 15 seconds this one we're actually hitting the heroic age at six minutes which is uh, only five seconds slower than other build orders you might find on uh, YouTube at the moment so um, it's you know, potentially a little bit more efficient in terms of uh, other builds so I think this is pretty much perfect in terms of the timings like I say we do reach the uh, heroic age at six minutes you're able to cast the wandering woods god power and with your giant and some hearses and the uh, inari that you had before you should be able to be caught uh, cause a lot of uh, let's say chaos in the enemy base uh, by sort of um, seven minutes as you can see here we're, we're ripping down that town center uh, that would be gone by eight minutes in game so um, let's dive in and have a look at this particular build order okay so when we first uh, start the game we're going to send two of our villagers over to the hunt we're going to cast the great hunt god power because that gives us some extra deer and um, we're going to send one of the villagers over to gold with an ox cart and then the first villager out of the town center is going to go over to wood uh, with a uh, an ox cart as well and then we're going to make a dwarf and send that one to gold so we'll have two on food uh, a villager on gold with a dwarf and one villager on wood at this point so um this build only really works with odin because we have the great hunt which gives us the extra hunt but also odin has a 10 percent uh, gathering rate bonus uh, for the hunt so once the dwarfs come out we're going to send a villager over to food and then we're going to get another dwarf to go over to gold and then another villager over to food so it's a little bit of um, messing around to be honest but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll perhaps have to think about a way we can sort of describe this one without it being one here one there uh, but essentially it's a case of you know when we're at this stage we're just going to be adding villagers to food but just add a, a couple of well, a couple of dwarfs um, during that time so we've got food uh, four on food we're going to send one more over to gold uh, for uh, one more dwarf we only need three dwarfs on gold so once that gold uh, dwarf comes out we're going to send that gold villager send it over to wood and then from this point we're just going to add four villagers onto food um, we're not going to make any more dwarfs at the moment we'll, we'll add a couple at the end but uh, we're just going to add four more villagers onto food at this point so uh, it's quite a strong strategy it's certainly a, a little bit of a meme <laughs> a little bit of a mean build but um it's it's certainly quite strong quite a bit of fun as well so uh, when we actually get into the um, heroic age and we're starting to do our attack we're going to drop the undermined god, um, god power uh, as well as the obviously using wandering woods as well to get those units so the undermine uh, which is the heimdall god power that will um, cause quite a bit of damage on the town center uh, which you'll be following up with your troops and hopefully you'll still have your giant uh, hopefully it won't have been picked off by the enemy heroes by that point but um, yeah should be uh, all good to go so uh, we've added our four extra villagers on to the food at this point we should have dropped our um, started building the temple at around two minutes and uh, 20 or two minutes 15 seconds something like that um, so do do keep an eye out for that timing um, we're just going to send two more dwarves over to gold and we should be good to click up to the uh, classical age and we're going to be advancing through Heimdall as you can see we've already got that queued ready so there we go we're on our way up now um, once you've um, started advancing we're going to uh, send one of the wood villagers over to food Probably um, it wasn't quite a quarter of the way through, but you can perhaps use a quarter um, of the way through advancing as a bit of a guideline um, to send that villager from wood over to food. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is because we'll just need the extra 
um, villager there to gather the food but we want to make sure we've got enough wood to be able to drop the armory um, which costs 135 wood so we're we're not far off by the time we do get to the um, get to the hero uh, classical age we should have uh, that wood we've got 122 in the bank at the moment uh, we should be able to drop off another 10 and we might need to just gather three and drop that off it's just from how it's worked out but there we go just drop some off there so we do have enough wood now we will be able to drop that straight away uh, first thing we're going to do in terms of villagers is send two dwarves over to gold and then we're going to finish off with one more villager who will uh, go to uh, food or wood probably makes sense to go to wood I can't quite remember if I send it to food or wood <laughs> we'll see I've written it down as food but I do end up with two villagers on wood so it probably goes to wood um so as you can see that's going down so that'll be done very very soon and you might find you'll need to drop off the gold from the dwarf villages just before this villager comes out uh, so the gold dwarfs not dwarf villages um there we go and then we've been able to click up yeah so that last villager went over to wood um we've clicked up we're going up with Njord so Njord is the one who gives us the uh walking woods god power and um, there's no no sort of moving of villages around at this point or we're just going to keep the the eco as it is when we get into the um heroic age you might want to add some more village on onto wood you could even take one off of food here and send it over to wood just so you can get a barracks down uh up at your base probably recommend doing that to be fair add another villager onto wood from food uh but at this point just keep making um hearses and, and add in houses where you when when you need to just so you've got a little bit of an army together in time for reaching the heroic age which will come through in a minute let me just speed this up um so one thing to mention with odin you've got the um ravens as i'm sure you're aware uh, just make sure you've you've used those to scout a wood line uh, that you're going to use for the wandering woods. So we're going to choose that one. So we've got our mountain giant. He's going to come out and help uh, demolish these towers. And we've got our wandering woods god power. Um, probably could have um, taken out those villages with those trees, but um, I kind of wanted to get the units all grouped together in case there's a bit more of an army uh, from the opponent here. We don't seem to have too much of an army. Uh, this is against the titan ai but they do have uh, a couple of priests and they've got the uh, pharaoh so they they should do quite a good job against this army but i think we've got enough hearses that will be able to take those down anyway so they're not going to cause us too many problems and obviously those wadgets will die pretty quickly to the uh, hearses there but at this point just keep on pressuring um try and take out the enemy army and then move on to their um economy try and either get the, the villager numbers down or just take the town center out uh, which is my personal preference uh, and as i say we will be using the uh, undermine god power which you should see uh unleashed any second now there we go so we're going down in this direction that should cause a bit of damage to the town center whilst we attack it and certainly the mountain giant will do a fair bit of damage there but just look how Quickly, that's melting with uh, our troops and undermine uh, mountain giants there Ooh, a couple of big wax from that and it's gone um, so by there look seven and a half minutes the enemy town centers down they've got no army and we're taking down well they've got a couple of troops but we're taking down villages and at this point it's pretty much GG so let me know if you uh, if you like this video uh, in the comments let me know what you think and uh, do hit that like button likes are free and it does help the video go further so do please hit the like button and i shall see you on the next one cheers